we've got the junior so coming out onto the grid now on pole position we have George Hopper second Ryan Frost then Ben Watson to make it up the first row Chase Collimore's in fourth followed by Marshall Richardson Nash Barnes in sixth place Zach Shelton in seventh followed by Bailey Harker and Max Barker in ninth then we've got Joe Dugan Joe Woodward and Maddie Williams Keir Williamson and Ross Brown rounding up uh, number 14 And they're all on the grid there. The parents are just about to clear out. And the green flag's up. And away they go. That's a good start from Ryan Frost off the line. And he's always oh, got down the inside of George Hopper there, going to the first complex. Just stood George up a little bit. And they're going to come down to the infield, going down the long right hander down the back end of the circuit and George just gets down the inside of that left hand side there. Ron, we're not be happy about that. So at the moment we've got George Frost out in front followed by Ryan Frost and Ben Watson in third. At the moment we've got Ash Barnes in fourth place followed close by Chase Codd. I think Ryan Frost coming down the straight now is going to use that weight advantage and to have a look down the inside, but I don't think he's going to be close enough coming down this long straight now. He has a look down the inside, but no, he's not close enough. And so coming across the line on the first lap, we have George Hopper in first place, Ryan, so Ryan Frost in second, Ben Watson in third, Ash Bonds in fourth, Chase Collimore, Marshall Richardson, Mar Max Barkley in seventh, followed by Bailey Harker in eighth, Zach Shelton in ninth, and round the top ten we have Joe Dugan. And it's looking like that George is already checking out at the front a little bit. And we're joined again by our commentator. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to the toilets and bumped into a few of the riders. How do they go in their suits? How did they go? I don't think I need to talk about that Governor my breath. So George Hopper leads by just under a second from Brian Frost. And then Ben Watson's third. Ash Barnes, Chase Collimore, and Marshall Richardson fourth, fifth, and sixth. Bailey Harker got past Max Barson about that. In ninth place is Zach Shelton, Joe Duggan tenth. Joe Woodward crosses the line eleventh with Maddie Williams and Kira Williamson just behind. And we've got some good wishes coming through for Zach, Chase, George and Ryan. Obviously you've got comments, please send them through and we'll get up online. So on your screen, the battle for fourth place, which is Ash Barnes ahead of Chase Collymore, and then Marshall Richardson just behind, as the three of them come across the line. Separated by less than one second out in front. George Hopper still leads ahead of Ryan Frost and Ben, ben Watson's in third. Ash Barnes looking like he's building a bit of a gap, but it's, co it's continuing and coming back together. But it looks as though he is getting away slightly from Chase Collymore. Yeah, and just out of camera shot, I can see that uh, George Hopper really has gapped uh, Ryan Frost now. I think his gap has been uh, knocking on about two seconds now. The gap's looking around about three seconds. Yeah, just over three seconds. And as they come across the line, George Hopper not quite as fast as that, but going about four tenths quicker at 1.4 seconds rather than Ryan Frost. On your screen, Ash Barnes still ahead of Chase Collymore and Marshall Richardson. And Marshall's all lost it there in the first corner. The yellow flag comes out, so he's got back up. But he lost it for a second as he was racing behind Ash and Chase. So he's now drops down from sixth place. Bailey Harker will now be in sixth. And it's just a battle between Ash Barnes and Chase Cod. Good to see 
I think that Marshall Richardson did get back up and get going again. But he's dropped quite a way off now. So the battle for still bikes number eight Ash Barnes and seven Chase Collymore. Although the gap has increased a little bit now to nine tenths of a second at 1.1 rather. Three laps to go. So Matt, what, what about, tell us a bit about the bikes that these riders are using. Yeah, with the cool out scale, we've got uh, these basically exactly the same as the stock 140 bikes, the adult shoes. Uh, so exactly the same engine, so it's a great step up from say the junior so SM90. In fact, they were just focused on Ryan there. That's exactly the same bike that he ran in the Junior, junior SM90, but with a 140 block in it. So the kids are already used, they already use the suspension, the bike setup, and they just stick a new engine in it um, and go racing in the uh, in a class above. It saves money at the end of the day. Ashbourne still quite a bit ahead now with Chase Collymore. Gap coming up towards two seconds. A couple of laps to go, and George Hopper still leads. Uh, four seconds, 4.8 seconds ahead of Ryan Frost. George is picking his way through the back markers now. So Marshall Williams, who was in sixth place, drops down to 10, but has just got past Joe Duggan into ninth. And it's now the last lap. George Hopper's on the screen, leads by 6.2, so he's still building that lead from Ryan Frost. You might want to take it a bit careful, because we've already seen a few riders come off. And all the gaps opening up at the moment. Not, not many of the riders too close together. George Hopper's coming round the final few corners. Onto, now onto the back straight. Oh, that's Coming up towards the back straights, so around this corner, which is called the Dell, and onto the hangar straights. Just one more corner, that's all he needs to make into a win. Back in a bit there as well, I'm showing up the camera, <laughs> this is brilliant. So here he comes across the line, and George Hopper wins. And there's one of the back markers. Maddie Williams ahead of Ryan Frost. Ryan Frost takes second. Ben Watson's in third. Ashbourne's managed to take fourth place. And Chase Collymore ended up five seconds. So what was quite a close battle as expanded to Chase Collymore takes fifth from Bailey Parker in sixth, Max Bartle seventh, Zach Shelton eighth, across the line goes Marshall Richardson now in ninth. He'll be disappointed after being in a battle for fourth earlier before coming off his bike at the first few corners. Great. Just getting ready to go all in the right order. The green flag goes up. And we're underway. It's a good start from Brian Frost. He leads ahead of George Hopper and then Ben Watson. We think in third position. There's been a big crash there. Two riders. Can't quite see who they are. But two riders have gone off. Both have got up, which is very fortunate. I'm trying to carry on. That's Bailey Harker and Ash Barnes. Very unfortunate for them. So out in front is Brian Frost. That's George Hopper in second at the moment, um, followed closely by Ben Watson. Ben Watson's really come on all last season. Since last season, it's cracking. So there they are, the three leaders, and it looks like one of them is. No, they have all got going, haven't they? It's around the last corner and onto the pitch straight. There is the man in the lead. Ryan Frost ahead of George Hopper, then Ben Watson is third. Fourth place is Chase Collymore. And then in fifth position is Marshall Richardson. Max Bottle up into sixth place. 
Johnson is seventh, ahead of Joe Duggan in eighth, Joe Woodward ninth, Maddie Williams is tenth, and Kira Williamson eleventh, uh, Bailey Harker across the line in twelfth. I think in the the uh, in race one, George is lapping around around the 51, 52 second mark, and he's lapping around 53 at the moment. So he's definitely got some more to give. Ashbond does get across the line in 13th position, quite far back from the rest of the field. So there they are, the two leaders, Ryan Frost and George Hopper. You can see from the two of them, they are. Ryan Frost much, much smaller than George Hopper. Yeah, much smaller. He's, he's got a, he's definitely got the um, the advantage down the straights. But George is just, he's a strong lad, and he's, he, and so he'll have the strength when it comes to chucking a bike around the twisties. He has got the edge on George, uh, on Ryan, and he's just having a look down the inside of the complex out of the right hander. But I don't think he was close enough to make the move. That's the two of them on screen now. So George Brian Frost leading from George Hopper. About half a second, maybe less now, separating the two of them around the back of the track. Here we go onto the straight, back straight now. And Brian Frost clearly ahead. In a distant third position is Ben Watson. It looks like Ryan's having a bit of a front end chatter coming into that last uh, right hand hairpin. So here we've got Chase Collymore ahead of Marshall Richardson the battle for fourth position. And we've got some well Oh! And that's the back wheel of Chase Collymore. Marshall Richardson's gone off. He hit the back wheel of Chase Collymore. And he looks, looks as if he's in a little bit of pain. He's got a bit of a limp. His right knee, I think, he landed on. So it looks like he's out of the race. That's Chase Collymore. Fortunately, still going by the looks of things. And while we, while we saw that, George Hopper's managed to get past Ryan Frost. So now George Hopper into the lead. Although Ryan Frost surely will, won't let him get away too much. And that is Marshall. Uh, uh, that's a tenth of a second between them. So Marshall Richardson is out. So Ben Watson is in third position across. He's just gone across the line. Then big gap back to Chase Collymore, who has lost a lot of time, I think, after that contact with Marshall Richardson. He just did a 58 0, so lost about three seconds. So Zach Shelton and Max Barsel have moved up because of that. Got past Joe on that. They both gained a place as well. So Bailey Harper's gained two, and Joe Duggan stays in eighth. Looking at uh, George and Ryan's lap times, they're now lapping in the 52s. So they've knocked over a second, or well, nearly a second off the, uh, the laps on the, earlier on in the race. And it looks like George has just started to gap Ryan a bit. He's just set a lap of 51.439. Yeah, he's just turned a little wick, hasn't he? Eight yeah. temps quicker, more than eight temps quicker. So he's built up that gap now out in front. And I think it might be George Hopper getting away in the lead, as long as he keeps it together. And it looks as well, I think Marshall Richardson has got going. He was stopped on the inside of turns two and three. And then it, I think he, he does, he did get going there in the end. Because he is a lap down now. That shows the maturity of George. He just, he sat behind Ryan. Uh, he took his time. He didn't make any rash moves. And um, he knew he had the pace on him. So he, he just got past and, and he literally just, just, you can see the difference he was running on what 52 eights 52 nines the previous lap and he got past him and he just he just put his foot down or <laughs> twisted the right wrist bit more on the lap on the next lap and he just he's gapped him a little bit and now he's just steady times 51 7 you know it's yeah it's a mature ride that is and they're just coming up through some back mark at the moment that's ash barnes you have that's Zach Shelton just in front of George at the moment. Further back, there is a good battle between 9th and 10th, which is Joe Woodward and Maddie Williams. They're only separated by a couple of tenths, but I think that throws the back markers we just got through. And they're four abreast going down. 
I think it's George Hopper got back. George Hopper is once for last lap. George Hopper still leading by two seconds from Ryan Frost. Ben Watson a distant third. That last lap, they were about two seconds slower than their previous laps. Yeah, they got caught up by the back markers. I say back markers, they, they, they've lapped everyone up to fourth place at the moment. So, uh... Oh, and two riders have gone off there. That's 22, so that's Maddie Williams. Uh, and I Barnes think Joe again. Woodward. Ash Barnes, oh. He's having a terrible afternoon. And he looks so dejected as he walks away from his bike there. How unfortunate for him. Let's cross the line. I think that's now the leader taking the check of the flag. George Hopper wins the race from Brian Frost. Drama at the end there. Two of them a long way clear. I think that's Ben Watson coming up to take third place. And that was Kira Williamson, who will, I think, finish 10th in the end. There's two with breast there, so that's Zach Shelton. Chase Collymore's got pop that stays ahead of him, but only just across the uh, across the line now. I take the flag. And we're bring some news back with uh, the two riders uh, that was Kira Williamson and Ash Barnes that went down on the complex at the top, the right hand at the top of the circuit. They're both on the feet, uh, surrounded by uh, concerned parents, uh, which is fantastic to see. Everyone's looking and making sure they're okay. It's, it's um, Maddie Williams. Maddie Williams, my apologies. Maddie Williams. So everyone else across the line. So George Hopper won from Brian Frost. Ben Watson was in third position. Chase Collymore fourth. Fifth position was Zach Shelton ahead of Bailey Harker in seventh. Max Bartle finished in seventh place. Sorry. Joe Duggan in eighth. Joe Woodward was ninth. And then Kira Williams in tenth. They didn't cross the line, but Maddie Williams and Ash Barnes finished eleventh and twelfth. Then Marshall Richardson, who was running in around about fifth position before his contact, finishes two laps down in 13th. 